Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17 and some last minute changes that you will be able to find on this update, which is coming out to the public in a week from now. So exactly one week from today, if you're watching this video on Monday, September 11th, you will be able to install this new update to your device. Of course, packed with a bunch of new features and changes that will be really awesome for your iPhone, especially something like the interactive home screen widgets, of course, the new standby mode, the improvements on the spotlight search, and a lot of other features. I believe there are more than like 300 new features and changes that you will find on this update. So let's Let's go ahead and talk about some last minute changes of this update and of course every other detail that you need to know regarding iOS 17. Now first of all let's take a look at some new features and changes that you will find on this update that we haven't been able to cover on the previous videos and one of them is this pop up right here to airplay your videos while watching YouTube. If you're close to your TV you will see this pop up once opening the YouTube app and start playing a video on your iPhone, you will see this. And I believe this will happen with other devices as well, as long as you're playing something and you have maybe a HomePod or a TV near you. Another smaller change that you will notice on the mail app right here on iOS 17 is that now the signature is on the second row. Previously, this used to be on the third, they just moved it up a bit here and now it's on the second row. With iOS 17, you now will be able to make phone calls from the standby mode using Siri. Now you could do that previously, but now lately Apple has also added this new interface to the face to the calls, whether that's a phone call or a FaceTime call, which you can do using Siri, of course, using the Siri commands while your iPhone is actually on the standby mode. And you will get, of course, a full interface here that looks pretty nice. You will have all the different buttons that you need here, the speaker, of course, and call. You can switch to FaceTime or mute right here and then of course you will have your contact here and if you have a poster for that contact it will show up on this side right here as you probably know with iOS 17 now you will be able to set live wallpapers on the lock screen of your device now they don't work like the classic live wallpapers that you used to have previously on iOS but they kind of work and now with the latest update to iOS 17 Apple has actually improved this a lot and most of the live wall, well, live photos actually that you have taken with your iPhone will now work as live wallpapers for your device and I've seen reports from a lot of users that actually they got them to work because for a lot of users they wasn't working at all now you can just simply pick any of your live photos again as long as you have taken them with your iPhone and set them as live wallpapers for your device. These are some of the new features that Apple has added to iOS 17 lately, which again is coming out in a week from now. But of course, there will be also some last minute changes that Apple will add to the new iOS 17. And one of them will be a really important exploit, which most likely is still active on iOS 17. And if you have your device on iOS 17, you probably have that exploit on your device. So you probably know that Apple has just recently released iOS 16.6.1. Now this has been released to actually fix an exploit, which is known as the blast fast exploit is a zero click exploit basically you get a message you open it and that's it you don't even need to click anything that's really really dangerous so that of course will infect your iphone probably make your iphone not usable and it's a very risky exploit to be on a device and it's actually it has been active since i was 16.6 and it has been fixed with i was 16.6.1 which means that it is most likely active still on iOS 17. That's why tomorrow when Apple releases the RC version after the event, you should actually update immediately because most likely that fix will come with the RC version of the new iOS 17. And before we end this video, let's talk about some more details regarding iOS 17. Of course, something that will interest a lot of users is the battery life of iOS 17. And lately it has actually started like being a bit better because it actually was really really bad in the last few weeks for me but i don't know what to say about battery life on ios 17 it actually has changed a lot from beta to beta 
never was that bad but again never that good at all so you can see right here what we have like 100 battery right there like exactly 100 7 hours 47 minutes on screen which is not the worst ever but of course it could be way better now the best we got here is probably right here at around 67 actually 77 maybe 78 percent we got seven hours and 31 minutes but again is not something really really good at all and keep in mind of course that this battery is at 89 percent battery health in an iphone 14 pro max and it's actually dropping really really fast without actually being a year since it has been purchased as a new device it's down 11 percent at 89 which is of course really bad now things are not that bad when it comes to performance as you can see right here we got a great performance on iowa 17 and it actually has been like this since like beta 2 or 3 the performance has been really really good not just the score here also the everyday use has been really good very stable except a few glitches and bugs here and there which have been fixed with beta releases it has been actually really really good and you can see right here this is the geekbench score the latest that i just got a few minutes ago i did even better with this device on beta 7 i believe i got 7000 points on the multi core score here and about about the same here on the single core score so this is the latest one with beta 8 so the mod like core score at 6822 which is again not bad at all this is probably even better than iowa 16 i don't remember any time getting 6800 on iowa 16 and the single core score again is quite good at 2635 so what's next regarding iowa 17 well as i said tomorrow is the 12th of course the iphone 15 event after the event most likely 99 percent sure apple will release the rc version of ios 17. now that will be the exact same version that apple will release to the public in a week from now so i suggest if you have a beta installed of ios 17 on your device right now go ahead and update because of that exploit it's really important that you update your device as soon as possible so make sure you do that tomorrow after the iPhone 15 event. Now, if you're on a beta and you don't want to install the RC version, you just want to wait for the public release, then go to your settings and what you need to do is go to general software update and make sure before the RC releases, make sure that you turn off the beta updates from here. Even though I wouldn't suggest you do that, if you're currently on beta, I suggest that you download the RC version as soon as possible because again, of that bug at that exploit, it's really really dangerous so make sure you update your device as soon as possible it's not really that important to install the public release because the rc version is exactly the same as the public release so just go ahead and install that and once you have the rc version or the public release then if you don't want to install the next beta of ios 17 which of course will be 17.1 then you can go ahead and just turn off the beta updates from here and you're good to go and last but not least let's talk about release times so again we're mentioning this for the 10th time in this video ios 17 is coming out next monday it will be september 18th now the release time will be 10 a.m pacific time that's the time that apple always uses to release new releases and this year probably won't be any exception so expect the software to come to your device at around that time of course if you live somewhere else you can go ahead and convert the time and see on your local time at what hour you can expect ios 17 to come to your device so that's basically it for this video guys i'm really actually very excited for this update especially the home screen interactive widgets those will be really interesting i can't wait to see for the third party apps what they will bring to the devices it will be pretty cool so that's it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more iowa 17 videos and i'll see you on the next one